hey hello everyone and welcome back to extreme gaming fever and in today's video we are going to make some grass bales and to make some grass bales <laughs> uh, we need following tools so first of all we need to mow grass and uh, this process is after uh, you have mowed the grass so first thing you need is a tether you can purchase a tether whatever you like depends on your budget the next tool you need is a wind drawer so you can browse and purchase a wind drawer from here it's once again depends on your budget i'm going with this middle one uh, which is from kun and uh, let's purchase this one and although it's costing thirty thousand dollars but yeah let's go and uh, the last but not the least is you need a baler of course if you are going with bales so this time we have this cone baler so we are going to purchase this one and since we don't have front loaders in this game so uh, we are going with the bale collector so it's a crucial thing to have now i just wish developers added the front loaders but they did not included front loaders in this game at all so these are the four tools that we need today um a trader a wind rover a baler and a bale collector so the situation it only depends situation i mean this tutorial is only once you have moved your grass and want to make some bales if you want to learn how to move your grass and how to plant and move your grass you can watch this video uh, i will you know links are in the description for all of my tutorials by the way let's grab our tether and move to the fields where i have already moved some grass and uh, we need to be very careful here by the way the traffic is you know <laughs> very strict okay so i have mowed one of, <laughs> i mean some grass on this field so let me show you where and uh, okay so it's here and you can see i have mowed some grass by the way the texture of the grass in farming simulator 20 is absolutely amazing and stunning it's now 3d unlike farming simulator 18 where we have 2d grass so in farming simulator 18 it's it's in 3d so let's unfold our tether now what tether does it's only uh, it's not actually making the grass bales but it's actually making the hay bales so basically <laughs> you can say it's these are the grass bales i'm sorry i was you know using the wrong term these are the hay bales so to turn grass into hay you need to you know use a tether to turn the grass over and uh, when you use a tether the grass will uh, turn over and it will dry and after that you can use a wind road to make neat and clean rows of the of this grass which you uh, which can be collected uh, by a baler so i'm going i'm simply going to fast forward some video here Okay, so as you can see that I'm done with this tether and uh, I have completely, uh, you know, turned the whole, uh, all the grass of this field into hay, which uh, we can now call this grass hay. So let's go to the shop once again. And uh, as since I don't have any place here for parking any additional tools, so I'm just going to park these tools in the shop. Uh, on the side I probably will sell these tools later on because this account is only for tutorials so that's not a big deal for me so yeah let's park this here and uh, attach our next tool which is going to be a wind drawer as I mentioned earlier what is the use of wind drawer you can use a wind drawer to sorry for that background whistle uh, you can use a wind drawer to make neat and clean rows of grass which are easy to collect using either a baler or a loading wagon doesn't matter which way you like uh, but you are definitely going to collect hay so as usual <laughs> i would like to go from this side because the other side is blocked by some tools let's unfold our unwit drawer 
wind roar actually <laughs> and start making rows of this uh, hay so this is how a wind roar work if you are not familiar so in this way you can make some really neat and clean rows of uh, hay or even you can do this with the grass you, if you are going with the grass bales you can do this with grass uh, you can you know make some neat and clean rows of the grass which you can then you, uh, turn into bales by using a baler or you can simply collect by using a loading wagon since this process uh, will also take some time so once again i'm going to fast forward some video here so let's do this right away okay so it's time to park this windrower here as well <laughs> and uh, let me park right next to it and uh, the next tool that we need now is finally the baler this time we have a kun baler and uh, not the new holland one it's also a very nice baler we also have the same baler in farming simulator 19 pc and kun is a very important brand if you remember i don't know about you but since I played Farming Simulator 17 as well, so we de uh, desperately caught. I mean, I'm sorry for using the word desperately, but yeah, we had a separate DLC of Kun in which we get a lot of Kun um, Kun tools and equipments. So yeah, as you can see that we now have some really neat and clean rows of grass, so we can start collecting this grass. So before we start making bales, we need to unfold this baler and uh, you can simply do that by pressing that uh, wrench key or in other words the function key and here we go. You can see that the percentage is increasing as we moving over the hay. So hay is going inside this baler and this baler is compressing it in the form of the bales. So we will soon get some bales from this baler okay okay so we just had one bale i don't know if it's out or not yeah it's not out but yeah one bale is produced so it's still inside and uh, the next bale will move this bale and yeah we are getting good yield it's probably because we used fertilizer i used fertilizer uh, on this uh, on this field to get some better yield grass is i always use fertilizer uh, on my grass fields wherever i find the grass because in this way you get more grass from the uh, from the field and if you are really worried about getting more grass then this is the way to go okay so this time <laughs> it's a little bit tricky but yeah we will make it you can see that the texture of the grass and the texture of the bales are amazing everything is just super thanks to nintendo they were actually the game is actually made for nintendo and uh, when they were making this game they probably thought wow why not we just you know optimize this game a little bit more and release the same game for mobile devices as well so yeah we should really thankful to nintendo Okay, so after you make you made your bales using a baler, you need this thing. Unfortunately, we don't have any front loader, so we have to go with this expensive bale collector. <sighs> I don't know why developer decided to not add front loaders in Farming Simulator 20. I desperately made a video on uh, front loaders, and I was 
very you know <laughs> uh very sure that we will get the front loaders in farming simulator 20 but we didn't that's that's not good we missed a lot of features that were in farming simulator 20 in farming simulator 18 sorry and we now don't have those features in farming simulator 20. so it's very easy to start collecting bills all you need to do is to press that function key and yeah that's all so I'm once again going to fast forward some video here hoping that this video will definitely help you and if you find this video helpful then please make sure you leave a like and subscribe to my channel for watching more exclusive content of Farming Simulator 20. Bye bye.